walk to ride. This is probably the nicest 900 SD available in the country today. This is uh, this, this uh, particular bike is a winner, first place at the Lars Anderson uh, Ducati show um, in the Bevel class, uh, prestigious show in Boston, Massachusetts. It's absolutely beautiful, all original except for the Conti mufflers. Uh, 7,000 miles. It's on consignment sale here at the New England Motorcycle Museum and it's in absolutely beautiful shape. Let me give you a quick demo on it and then uh, you be the judge of this thing's stunning machine in my opinion. Uh, my name is Ken Kaplan. I'm the owner of the New England Motorcycle Museum and I can tell you this is a really rare piece. We uh, see a lot of bikes come and go through here but rarely will you see an all original 1980 of any brand in this kind of condition let alone a Ducati 900 Super Desmo Dharma. Uh, this particular bike um, is uh, on the bubble. Uh, the uh, 70s Ducatis have gone through the roof and um, these haven't really taken off uh, price-wise yet, but there are some indications they will based on local uh, recent auction sales. Uh, eBay, there's an eBay listing of one that just sold, look under completed listings, uh, sold for $16,600. Um, that one was brand new with, what, 20 miles on it, Kenny? 20 miles. 20 miles. Uh, and then another one that was a total roach rust bucket with uh, um, lots of issues and I don't th not even running, sold for $7,000. So we estimate, I would estimate this motorcycle's value is somewhere around $12,500 uh, based on the condition. Um, it is 100% stock except for the mufflers. I do have the original mufflers. I'll show you the mint shape. I have the owner's manual, um, which you'll, you'll see in the photos, the owner's manual and the maintenance manual. Um, just an absolutely gorgeous motorcycle. So, Kenny, uh, you want to take a ride down the street and we'll do a quick video of it? Something wicked this way comes. That's what you think when you hear this bad boy roaring up the street. This thing runs like a brand new motorcycle. It's tuned to perfection. Previous owner has a collection of six classic motorcycles that are in beautiful shape and um, recently had some surgery and decided, back surgery actually, and decided he needed to sell one of his bikes. And uh, unfortunately he had a part with this one. So uh, this bike again is being sold on consignment for a good friend of the museum. So um, hopefully it goes to a good home. Let me do a quick demo. My favorite part of my job. Not only is this prestigious and pristine classic the winner of the prestigious Lars Anderson show, this is also an all original bike. Once a cucumber becomes a pickle, it's uh, never really a cucumber again. And by that I mean there's nothing like an original bike, one that hasn't been uh, you know, abused for years and then restored. This is original stock mint condition and I, I believe me when I tell you, you're going to be hard pressed to find a better one. Um, the uh, bike came stock from the factory with these original Marzaki shocks. This is a performance model that came with the uh, Ducati mag rims, uh, Brembo disc brakes, triple disc brakes, front and rear. Uh, the bike's rated to do 115 miles an hour and I'm sure it'll do that all day long. Um, the original stainless front fender's in beautiful shape. The chrome on the forks is perfect. Uh, the Brembo disc brakes work beautifully. Triple disc brakes, front and rear. And it also has the, these are Marzaki forks. They're uh, very thick, stable fork. It even has the original decal uh, for the fork on the front here. Uh, the original 1980, almost 40 year old decal. Something, you know, you normally don't see on these. If you power wash it, that would come right off. This is a bike that's only been hand washed. It's been stored indoors in Rich's private collection for the last 20 years. And it's in stunning condition.
um, in 100% original. I, I don't believe any touch-up paint has ever been done on the bike, certainly not while it was in our possession. Uh, if you look on the underside of the fender is in excellent shape, the top of the fender is in beautiful shape, the original turn signals are in mint shape, all the lights work. The Rich, Rich bought this bike home on Mother's Day about 20 years ago as a present for him and his wife to add to their collection of classic motorcycles and uh, um, like I said he originally recently just uh, had some bad luck uh, and, and uh, had back surgery and decided he needed to sell this bike uh, liquidate some of his collection so it's absolutely stunning uh, he's not selling it because there's anything wrong with it the bike is in beautiful original condition and uh, it's just a real stunning machine when I pulled it into the shop you could hear wrenches dropping on the floor the mechanics were all like wow and you fired it up even the young kids are like, wow, that thing sounds awesome. And it does. It really is a, a truly remarkable machine. And uh, I'm proud to be representing it. Um, I wish I had the money to buy it for the New England Motorcycle Museum and put it on display. In fact, I'm going to call a couple of our benefactors and see if one of them will step up and buy this so we can keep it on display here. I'd love to keep it here. If you buy it, you're welcome to leave it here at the museum as long as you'd like or pick it up immediately, whatever you prefer. But uh, let's bring it inside and I'll show you the title and the paperwork to it. And uh, I hope it goes to a good home. Actually, I hope it stays here, to be honest with you. So let's bring it in. front and rear, left and right, the uh, brake light, hand brake, hand foot brake, all work perfectly, all the idiot lights work, high beam, low beam, front, left and right turn signals, everything's perfect on this bike, the electric start works beautifully, this bike needs nothing but a new home, hopefully here. Only 7,717 original miles and um, has a side stand, has a center stand, um, owner's manuals, title, full provenance on the bike, including the fact that it won first place at the Lars Anderson show. So, um, again, this is a 1980 model Ducati SD900 Dharma. Absolutely beautiful museum or showpiece, uh, barely written and 100% original, including the original mufflers that we have that come with it. Most likely this is the best roadster in the world during its time in 1980. Um, it has a nice riding position where you're not bent over too far. You can ride this thing all day long. It's got a huge gas tank. It's an excellent example of Italian engineering in very low miles, 7,000 original miles. 74 horsepower, 900 cc, sport Desmo engine is very capable. As I said earlier, top speed of 115 miles per hour. Sounds amazing. Has Marzocchi shocks, Marzocchi forks, dual Brembo disc brakes. A large Bosch quartz halogen headlamp, nip and dents of gauges, and handlebar position that inspires great confidence in the comfortable posture I mentioned. Now, all the original paint and graphics are in excellent condition. Uh, and the previous owner has owned it for just about 20 years. So I have the title in hand here uh, Massachusetts title, showing 5,000 miles, so we only put 2,700 miles on it in 20 years. Um, and I have the previous registrations. I have several of the previous registrations. So if your estate is like Connecticut and doesn't require a title, I don't recommend handing the title in, give them the registration. This is a letter from the state of Connecticut Department of Motor Vehicle saying that motorcycles 20 years old are exempt from titling, that you only need the registration. So if you did register it, you'd hang on to your title, which, is, which I recommend keeping in case it's ever sold outside of the country to export them. It's much easier with a title. The bike's absolutely gorgeous, top to bottom, inside and out. The inside of the gas tank looks brand new. Um, the gauges are crisp and clean and clear. The uh, mirrors are in perfect condition. The uh, bike vibrates very little, um, so there's no uh, 
distortion in the mirrors and the levers are in beautiful condition. Uh, the original aluminum levers polished beautifully. Um, just a stunning motorcycle. Uh, again, uh, look under completed listings. You'll see one just sold on eBay for $16,600. Um, I'm gonna say this one's worth around uh, 12 dollars because that one was brand new at 20 miles. If you ask me though, I don't think I'd want a bike that sat for 40 years and was never started or run with 20 miles on it because then you end up with issues like dried seals and um, engine uh, gaskets that dry up. Uh, I'd rather have a bike like this that was carefully ridden and, and well maintained. So um, you be the judge. Uh, hope it goes to a good home. I'm going to roll it back into the museum, put it on display until she uh, um, goes to her new home. I would like to show uh, one thing though. Uh, it has a glove box in the back here. Um, let me grab my keys. There's a separate key for the, for the um, Dharma uh, seat storage compartment. Let's see if I can do this right the first time. There it is. This is a, a glove box. It shows a fiberglass seat. This is the original fabric for the seat from 1980, and everything's in perfect condition. And this flips forward uh, and allows you storage for your registration or, or gloves or goggles or whatever. Uh, very cool feature on a very cool bike. So we're gonna show you that. And like I said, she's in beautiful shape. Starts right up. Show them the original uh, slip on exhaust. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Come here, check this out. Uh, these are the original. These were in the owner's uh, carefully stored in his attic for dry, high and dry. Silentium uh, 079984-105 original Ducati mufflers. You see that? Yeah. And the chrome is in good condition all the way around there in stunning shape. Um, I, would I would say the value of these mufflers is somewhere around $1,000 uh, for original set of mufflers. And I base that off the fact that I, I just paid $1,000 for a set of mufflers for a 77 Harley Davidson uh, full exhaust system on an FXC 2 in 1. And then drove to Rhode Island three hours round trip to get them. So uh, I will tell you this um, we restore motorcycles here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. We have a full restoration shop and a staff of 20. We specialize in restoring motorcycles, and it's a ridiculous amount of work. And we have bikes in our inventory that we spent 360 hours uh, of restoration services. A light restoration on a Har 84 Harley, we just put 72 hours into that Harley over there. So, um, and it's expensive, $90 an hour plus parts, it adds up. So to find an original like this, you avoid a whole lot of hassle. And like I said, they're only original ones. To find an original one in mint shape is the way to go. They're just extremely rare, and that's why I'd love to have this one here, but um, it's gonna go to a new home. So unless somebody buys it and donates it to the museum, because we don't, we don't have it in the budget to purchase it ourselves. It has Avon Super Venom tires, front and rear. It has a 190 V18 on the front with 90% of the tread left. The back is in brand new condition with 90% of the tray left. The uh, battery, I almost forgot to add, today we installed the brand new Uasa battery. The battery was probably three years old that was in there, so we put a brand new battery in it, Uasa battery, top of the line battery. Um, tires are in mint shape. The oil's like brand new. The gas is perfectly clean as is the carbs and the air filters. The engine compression is on point and the bike means nothing. So um, as you'd expect of a show winning classic like this 1980 Ducati Dharma. So, Kenny, did I leave anything out? No. Nope. Stock mufflers are included with the sale price. Uh, so, if you have any questions, please call us 860 454 7024. We're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media, Facebook, uh, on our website, or on our YouTube channel. Uh, our eBay store is Kaplan Cycles. That's where you'll find the bike if it is. If you watch this video and you want to know if it's still for sale, go to Kaplan Cycles eBay store. Um, it's being listed tonight, August 28th. So good luck bidding on the bike. God bless Italy for making beautiful Italian classics like this, and God bless America. Ride this bad boy back in the museum and put